Stylish Niger YouTube channel. I want to say thank you to all of my subscribers. I really appreciate you guys a whole lot for subscribing to my YouTube channel. If you are new to my channel, if you have not subscribed already, please, I would appreciate if you will hit on the subscribe button and then hit on the bell to get an update whenever I upload a new video. That's like the essence of hitting on that bell. Okay, guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to actually cut and sew this center design top gown with elastic cap sleeve so you could see the picture up there that's what we're going to be doing today i'm going to show you how to how to actually achieve it now so uh, what i'm going to say this uh, kind of design for this kind of dress you can achieve it in two ways you can either use the slash and spread method that's making use of a pattern to achieve it or you could make use of the freehand method but there's something that i actually noticed and i've noticed it for some time with uh, some of my with my subscribers most i'm going to say because the last video i actually posted what was actually a pattern and the thing did not really get and um, viewed like that i noticed most times when i make dresses and i use pattern at times i used to get comments that uh, why did i use pattern i should have done freehand the truth of the matter is every trends are evolving you understand you cannot just stick with cutting and freehand method you need to evolve with the trend the truth of the matter is that pattern drafting is not an ex is not um a difficult process once you put your mind to it that i am going to learn this thing you learn it easily it is very simple and easy and with pattern drafting you get your you will not waste your fabric you understand you get your things accurately your mirror that's the the sizing accurately but freehand is like an old method of sewing but most times, most people, they still prefer, they prefer the free hand. But today, the truth of the matter is, I normally go, when it comes to making my tutorials, I normally, I really do not allow whether the, it, my pattern drafting gets viewed or not. I really do not allow that affect me. You understand? So I normally go, I just go with the, the flow, the way I am led. If, I'm go, if I feel that you understand it, making use of a pattern, I will make use of a pattern. If I feel you under, understand making use of a free hand, I will. So that's just that. But I just encourage each and every one of you to learn pattern drafting. It's not a difficult task. So that's that. Okay, so before we continue, if you want to register for my online classes, so you see the number that is scrolling through my screen, you could send me a message that you want to register for my class oh that's just send me a message and then i'll tell you what it entails to register for the class so let's just get started the fabric that i'm going to be using here this is a very beautiful fabric it's like i don't know if it's a satin it's actually a sample fabric <laughs> i got it from a sample shop so um it's about 1.5 and meters that's one and a half yard so that's what i'm going to use so i'm going to fold out my fabric now we're not doing a bust here, we just do it a, free, a, a, a flat. So I'll fold out the fabric now. Okay guys, so for this um, dress, I already have my fabric folded out. So I'm going to explain how I folded the fabric. So because we're not using a slash and spread, I actually measured and the fabric, the amount of fabric that I'm using out using is about 19 inches. That's the length and then the width. The width, I actually used my bust measurement, which is 36. You divide into four and then which is nine, one, two, three, four, five. I added five inches extra. So I'm folding now at about 15 inches. That's the fold that I use that I used. Sorry. That's the regular fold. And then for the length, you know, since this is an off shoulder dress, normally you will reduce with about five inches. That's for the shoulder. This is five inches. So the first line I have here is my bust line. I have my my under bust line, which is thirteen. And then I added an extra. You know, after this, normally I'm supposed to add maybe about two or three inches, depends on where I actually want my cut to be. But because of the parts, the center parts that I'm going to pleat, I added an extra of about six inches into my fabric so to accommodate that pleated part and then what i actually have here left is my allowance so i just made it uh, excess so i will not run into problems so after making out the pleat i'll measure out what i want so we're just going to continue now we're just going to draft directly on our pattern oh sorry on our fabric so the first measurement so i have both the back and the front here 
so the back is just normal even though i cut even though i measured it the same so this is the back piece so the next the first thing i'm going to do i'll just take out the back piece once i'm done we'll bring it back so the first um, thing we're going to do now is the neckline so you see it is a sweetheart neckline so i'll fold like this so from this point like this for this sweetheart neckline you are going to measure the shoulder measurement the shoulder is seven that's when you divide 14 into two you are going to have seven inches this is seven inches normally since it is an off shoulder i'm supposed to reduce with about two inches i'm supposed to reduce it with about two inches so what i'm going to do now i'm not going to reduce it i'm going to be using six inches for the neckline that's the, the the measurement i'm going to use six inches but i still left the one inch though uh, the reason for leaving the one inch is because that is going to serve as my zipper allowance sorry i'm so sorry it's going to serve as my seam allowance so what i have here is still my normal seven inches that's what i'm going to be using for the neckline part so at the end of the day it's going to be six inches because after stitching it's going to reduce to about six inches so you could decide depending on how wide you want it to be you can actually decide to do five inches you can decide to reduce your shoulder measurement by two so it depends on what actually works for you so one inches has been working for me so i'm going to go with it so i'm going to mark it like this so this is the point so the next thing i'm going to do now from this point i'm going to mark out my armhole measurement so for the armhole i'm going to be using about eight inches so this is eight inches for my armhole measurement so from this point like this i'm just going to curve it out like this i'm going to curve out like this So this is for my armhole now. The next measurement I'm going to include in this pattern. So you notice I've not I've not folded the body. The, sorry, I've not uh, marked out the body's measurement because I'm going to pleat before I mark out. So the next measurement I'm going to include now is the neckline. So for the neckline, I'm just going to do the the length of the neckline. So always remember your five inches. The length for the neckline is actually eight inches. That's the depth. So this is my eight inches so since it is a a sweet heart neckline i'm just going to do a back flip like this so you see what i'm doing so i just do a back flip it's really simple to do this kind of neckline so you see it's like this just like it's inverted and v and then from this point so it comes like this so what i'm going to do now i'm going to cut it out So I've cut out the neckline, so I'm going to open it for you to see now. So you see how beautiful it is looking. So we'll continue. I'll fold it back, and then we're going to insert. I'm going to insert my waist dart. I'm not going to. I'm. I'm going to insert my waist dart into this and body seam. And for my waist dart, I'm going to use the half of my armhole. Sorry, half of my bust span measurement, which is 4.5. Allowance is included already. So this is the 4.5. So for this, what I'm going to do after stitching, I'm just going to do a regular waist dart on it. So I'm I'm just marking it for me to know. So the next thing we're going to do now, we're going to pleat before we take out the full body measurement. So in pleating, I'm just going to take it to my ironing table and then I'm going to iron the center front in order for it to have a straight line okay guys so i've finished ironing so i'm just going to open it like this so you see what we have now this is the center so what we are going to do now we're going to pleat this center front now so in pleating it is really simple i already have my i already have the center line so the next thing i'm going to do now i'm going to try to take my bust span measurement that's nipple to nipple i'm just using it as a guide to know where my pleats are going to stop that's just it so i'll mark it on both sides okay so you saw you see what i have now so is this center this part this middle part that's where we're going to be deliberating on so i'm going to turn it like this let it face me and then from this point i'm going to leave one inch from the neckline point before i start so I'm going to come to my bust line. This is my bust line. So it's one inch now. 
I'm going to come to my bust line. So from this point like this, I'm just going to hold this like this. And then I'm going to secure it with a pin. So I'm going to take this. So I want it to have that clean mark like this. So once I'm done, I'll use a pressing iron to do that. And then I'm going to continue. I'm going to take, pick another tiny pleat like this. And then I'm going to secure. So since it is a free hand, I'm just taking about a quarter of an inch. So note, as you are doing this, you are checking your measurements. You are checking your measurements. You place your tape like this, because that's where your shoulder is. You are checking for your under bust line. That's actually where you are going to stop. You are checking to make sure that you have not exceeded your under bust measurement. So I'm going to continue. I have not exceeded it. Okay, so you see what I have now. So I have 16 inches here. It's okay, but I'm still going to just take it a little bit. Let it get to about 17 inches. So it depends on where you actually want your half cut to get to. to. Okay, it's, it's about 14 inches. Okay, yeah, it's 14 inches, which, which is directly under of my bust. But I'm still going to include, I'm still going to do about two more pleats. Okay, so you see what we have already. So you see what we have. It's looking like what we have on the picture. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take it to my machine. And then this center, I'm going to run a clean stitch along the center like this. So it is like this. So once you put it on, everything balances properly on you. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take it to my machine. And then from the neckline point, I'm going to run a clean stitch. I will use a matching thread. To run a clean stitch on it so i'm going to do that and then come back and take out the full body measurement okay guys so you can see what we have here so it is looking uh, really pretty and and beautiful so the next thing we're going to do now we're going to take out our full body measurement so in doing that you're just going to fold it like this and then i'm going to join it to the back with my back piece like this and then we're going to take out our full body measurement right now so you see what we have so this pattern we're going to straighten it on this side to get it all well straightened out so the back zipper allowance is there and then the first um, measurement we're going to take out now is the bust measurement which is nine inches so you're just going to take your tape like this and then you place it here this is the nine inches and then we're going to add maybe 2 inches or 1.5 inch allowance depends on the kind of finishing you are doing we're going to add it like this to mark it like this so the next measurement now you are going to check for your under bust measurement so this is my under bust so you see that is where my pleats actually stop which is 15 so I'm going to take out my full body measurement the, that's the full length sorry the full length I'm going to use this 19 as my half cut so i'm going to straighten that out so the under bust measurement is here so i'm going to mark out my under bust is actually 30 inches which is 7.5 so you know i'm going to take out one inch for my dart so i'm going to include that one inch back into it 
and then I'm going to add take out the I'm going to take I add the 1.5 inch allowance or two inches depends on what you are doing so from this point like this now I'm just going to connect to this point like this so the waist measurement that's my half cut is 32 I'll add my darts so I'm just trying to shape it out nicely so I'm going to cut both the back and the front the side before I take out the back neckline so this part I'm going to in cutting it out I'm going to place my my ruler like this because I don't want I don't want it bent I'm going to place my ruler like this so it is straight so for my back pattern I'm trying to straighten it out so for the back pattern you can I'm going to just do a round neckline for the back so from this point like this this is just like a very simple way of doing this from this point i'm just going to mark you could decide to do it this way if you want it deeper you could decide to measure how deep you want it to be you could decide to reduce maybe with one inch and then you curve it into this point like this Shape out the back and hold now. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to go and stitch both the back and the front together. It is really simple and easy. I'll stitch them together now for you to see. And then we'll come back. Okay, before then, let's cut out the sleeves. Okay, guys, so we're going to cut out the sleeve now. So I'm going to show you how to measure out this kind of cap, elastic cap sleeve normally okay i'm just going to fold like this normally half of my um sleeve measurement i'm supposed to make you for half of your round arm hold measurement that's from since it's an option that that's from one side to the other you are going to use uh you measure normally mine is actually uh, 12 inches so i'm supposed to mark six inches here like this but I'm not going to do that because I'm going to be adding an elastic to the sleeve. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to extend this to about 12 inches. So this is just like double the, the amount. So this is like 12 inches here now. And then for the length of the sleeve, you are going to determine, you know, the top part is actually a cased sleeve. That's, there's a fold on top and then there's a fold at the down. So normally I want the sleeve to be like about 7 inches, so I have about 10 inches here. So for the top part, I'm going to use about 1 inch casing for the top, that's this top part. And then for the down, I'll use about 1.5. So the other half inches I'm going to use to stitch. So you can decide to do 2, two, two inches, depends on how uh, wide you actually want that elastic part, that rough fold elastic part to be. So that is what you put in consideration. So this is my 12 inches now so what i'm going to do now i'm just going to take this armhole so i'm for, for me to not to forget i'm going to mark one inch here that's that's what the one i'm using for the top casing or 1.5 as the case may be so you mark whatever amount you are using for the top case and then you are going to place your 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 arm hole like this that's this is the round armhole and then you are going to just give it a, a mark like this so this is really like a very simple way of cutting an off shoulder sleeve seriously you just curve it like this and then you mark it down so i'm just going to cut it out now so you cut like this and then so i'll go and stitch it right now so i'm going to show you how to stitch it so for the top part so this is how it's going to be now so you know this part is going to be cased like this now so once this part is, part is cased you see the armhole is going to fit in properly and then this side is going to be ruffled up with 
an elastic and then this down part also is going to ruffle up with an elastic so i'm going to go and do that so that's how you literally do this sleeve i'm going to go and stitch it right now i just put my elastic like this so i've done this sleeve before in one of my videos so i'm going to drop the link for you to see how to just ruffle the elastic part it's not uh, something difficult so i'll drop it so you can watch it and then know how to do that so i just go and couple it now and then come back and show you the finish look so when i'm done for the down part you can decide to do any down parts you want to if you want to add this to this pattern to a gown or you want to make it into a blouse you can decide to do that okay guys so you could see what i have now so you see the dress it's coming out so beautifully well so this is the ample area so you see the center so what i'm going to do now is just for me to go and fix the sleeve and then i'll come back and show you the final look of the dress okay guys so um i finished uh, stitching so what i'm going to do now so this is the sleeve so i finished adding the elastic so you could see how beautiful it is looking and then this is the down part so this part if you actually don't want it as big as this you can decide to reduce it to however you want to reduce it so like i said i have a video of it i'll drop the link on the description box so in fixing this sleeve here is how you are just going to fix it so you're going to take those parts like this this is for the back and then you're going to place like this and then you fix it into the armhole area and then this side also you place it like this from those points like this also and then you fix it into the armhole area so at the end of the day so you see how beautiful it is already looking just like what we have on the picture for the dress so you see it is already looking beautiful so i'm just going to do this second one and then i'll come put it on the mannequin for you to see like i said the down part you could do any thing for the down you could do a peplum you could do a gown whatever design you actually want to do okay guys so you could see this is the final look of our dress so thank you so much if you find this video helpful please i would appreciate if you would like the video and if you have not subscribed please subscribe and then share this video with all of your friends to help me grow this channel so thank you so much i will see you in my next video god bless you